Hi, welcome again. Today we are going to talk about planets and how to create planets inside Unreal Engine. Actually, this is not a tutorial, but this is a demo of OpenLand Mesh, and I'm trying to create some real-world examples using OpenLand Mesh. And this is how we can create a set of planets inside Unreal Engine from zero to end. And I want to mention this uh, is based on uh, Sebastian's planet generation tutorial. He did this for Unity using a C Sharp and uh, and Twinted tools. But here, here we create everything inside the engine and we use blueprints and some materials to change those things. Quite interestingly, artistic friendly way. And this is not a tutorial, but trying to show you a demo. We're going to have a proper tutorial in coming weeks. So let's get more light into the scene and I'm going to show you some of the things here and there. All right, let me delete this planet. planet. Okay, I don't need that. All right, and then uh, here you can see some ocean and we can see some geometry for ground layer. So let's say I want to like add more ocean into the scene and it's quite easy. Here we have uh, some sort of parameters and then let's say we have one called ocean coverage and I'm gonna change this to 0 0.8 maybe. Then I click this modify mesh button. So basically now we have a lot of uh, ocean and and if you look at the time and it took around like 62 milliseconds to like do the, all the computation inside the gpu and there are some other things and we can of course improve the, those things and get the number really down and make it more real time friendly all right and let me turn up all these modifications and we start with a default cube all right so basically we create all these things using this cube and if you uh, go to the wireframe mode and it has a lot of vertices so basically we subdivide that inside the engine but by default uh, it looks something like this so i think here we got seven subdivisions all right then we got a lot of vertices like this and then what we're trying to do is we have something called vertex modifiers we can modify the here each and every these vertices inside the gpu and we can create very interesting things so now i'm going to enable the uh, gpu vertex modifier run gpu vertex modifiers and I'm gonna hit uh, build mesh and I'm gonna go out and I can see the planets over here and I mentioned that uh, we can put some parameters here we have the material I'm gonna open this material in a moment so I, I need to have more ground over here let's put the uh, in something into 0.5 and that's by default and I'm gonna modify the mesh and I can get these uh, yeah things like this ground and the coolest thing is uh so if i add more vertices i get more details for example if i put subdivision into five we don't see any details but if i got like seven subdivisions i get more details i can go higher like eight subdivisions uh, i have more uh, details the idea behind this is simple when you far away then you don't need more vertices and we've got less information and when you zoom in uh, we can generate uh, more details uh, right inside the G uh, engine uh, so then it's a completely for procedural and we have really really fine tuned open the material this is a simple material but actually here we are changing the vertices inside the gpu for example you can see we get the input uh, position and then we can use noise functions to get the ground and we have noise to create the mountains and i'll explain all these things in the actual tutorial and basically we create all these things and then now uh, we can uh, set the uh, the modified position as well as we can set vertex colors and then we write into the mc color and opacity i'll explain all these things in the tutorial and and that's it based on that open land mesh can create the actual geometry and see something like this then we have a simple material to add some colors so basically here we have a couple of levels uh, to get the di different colors and then we and we can change the ocean depth uh, and something like this uh, quite interestingly here you can see uh, we pass some ocean depth into the vertex colors c channel and we get that from the material and to something like this so right now i'm planning to package open land mesh into a something usable then i'm going to publish that in marketplace and so we can start working on tutorial uh, from next week's or so all right uh, see you soon with something interesting bye